In this video, I want to show you how to use a pipette. These, this one here is 25 milliliters, and if we fill the device up to this meniscus, it's designed to deliver exactly 25 milliliters of a solution to our Ulmera flask. So I've got this uh, colored water here to demonstrate. This is a pipette pump. So you roll back on this little um, wheel and it pulls the plunger up, okay? And you can also manually do that. All right, so let me show you what you do. You place the end of the pipette firmly into uh, the device, okay? Don't push here, because you could break and cause an injury to yourself. So hold it up near the tip, firmly pr press it into the rubber there, and then you'll uh, pull on the wheel like so, okay? And you'll see that the liquid uh, is slowly coming up the pipette, okay? Now I've already uh, extended the plunger as far as it goes. So what you need to do is uh, take this off, all right? With one hand, keep your finger on it like so, all right? So that the liquid doesn't drop down. And then with your other hand, you know, just push down on the plunger on your arm or the tabletop. And then what you'll do is replace this onto the end of the pipette like so, and then continue uh, bringing up the solution, okay? So as we do that a second time, you can see how the solution still didn't come up to the top. So you're gonna need to do that a second time. Now we're here in the uh, pipette. Now be careful, don't just yank back on the wheel all the way really, really, really fast because the liquid could rise so far that it goes into the plunger here and that would cause a situation <laughs> for the rest of the class. So um, slowly, slowly, slowly bring it up, okay? Up to uh, the meniscus, okay? And the autofocus here isn't very good and the background of my shirt is not helping. Uh, that, you know, so you wanna bring the meniscus uh, up to the mark. Remember the meniscus is the bottom part of the U shape and you want that to be just above the brown line. Now, don't, don't press anything on the plunger. Just pull this out of your solution and uh, put this over your Erlmeyer flask. Remove the pump, the pipette pump from the pipette and just let gravity slowly dispense the liquid into your Erlmeyer flask. When you get to the end, wait a while, okay? And then what you'll wanna do is uh, touch the side of the pipette to the side there, okay? To remove any hanging drops that might be on the pipette and then remove it. It is completely okay and necessary, in fact, to have a small amount of liquid in the tip of the pipette. Don't worry. This uh, pipette here is calibrated. I'm not sure if you can see the little letters here, but this my pet is calibrated to dispense uh, 25 milliliters at um, the temperature of the room. So TD just remembers touch, remember uh, is means touch the drop, okay? TD, touch the drop. So just touch the drop on the side. So there's your 25 milliliters and you can just run to town, okay? Um, the rest of the class is gonna be reusing this. So push this down before you're, um, before you're done. Now, if you have a small amount of liquid in here because somebody else is coming after you, you'll need to uh, rinse this out, okay? The way you can do that is take the pipette, okay? Put it on the end and just blow the pipette out over the sink, but I'll just do it on the, on the floor here because I know it's water. And now it's almost empty. When you're ready to grab your solution, grab maybe that much, okay? Filled in the pipette remove the pipette, okay? And then roll the liquid that, you know, those few drops in there around. And then over a sink, if you can see me, take the pipette, pull it up a little bit like so, push it on there, okay? And blow out that rinse water into the sink, okay? Now you'll have a solution that if there's any liquid in there, is the same liquid 
of the solution that you're analyzing at your table. Okay, that's how you use the pipette. Thanks for watching.